the living room kitchen. That was it in the hallway, go in there. And when the adults were left in the kitchen after eating like now, we'd go in the front room because they had been in there having their highballs and their cigarettes. And then we'd, we'd make cigarette pie. We'd take all the butts and peel them apart. And then filters. Filters and make little, little meals. <laughs> Hey, anything to entertain yourself. Well, yeah. We did we did sneak uh, we, some. He's soaking it all. <laughs> he's laughing. So when I'm in the home <laughs> sitting there What's doing this, you'll know what I well, I'm right. going back in time. Is it fit? Yeah. Gary doesn't chew anymore Why either, does he or does he? When did he quit that? Dad would go to the He doesn't for quite a while. What's an adopt? Well, I'll tell you. I have a friend that I worked with at the bank. She's younger than I am. Her husband works at Barrel, Barrel, I guess. And um, he he had snoops all the time, all the time. Well, this summer, guess what? No cancer. They had to actually wire his mouth shut. He could not eat anything for I think it was six weeks. He had. Because they were doing radiation, so they had to keep him miserable. Now, now he's, I think, I, he has no taste. He can eat, but he has no taste. Well, I remember when I worked as a nurse, we had to, that's when they let patients smoke in the rooms. And we had to literally, pull, people dying of cancer, lung cancer, pull the cigarette for them because they couldn't do it. So well, now you'd be surgery. doing the weed because then you'd be yeah. helpful because that takes them out but of the I'll tell you, The very first That's surgery I speech. observed was a uh, uh, guy had cancer of the lung and they were removing the lung. You know, it was the first one we observed. The doctor took the lung and he had, you know, attachments and everything. And he handed it to me and I was like, <laughs> Back me up like, I don't want that, you know, I'm like, oh. But I remember thinking, I never going to smoke that and after I saw it. Saw what it looks like and it's black. Yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. And we snuck cigarettes when we were teenagers, you know. Oh, yeah. When I went to nursing school, all the doctors, all the nurses smoked. And um, I'd go up on the roof and, you know, we'd light up. And I remember looking around thinking, this is stupid. It's expensive. It sucks. <laughs> it was and I don't expensive. like it. Now yeah, it, was it, cheap. it was cheap. It was cheap gum yeah. compared to what they are now. Oh, I remember was, my mother giving me 26 now. cents and a little piece of paper wrapped up. She put the money in mm -hmm. there, one pack or whatever it was. And then, I'd have, the and then I'd have to go to the candy store and go buy her a pack of cigarettes. It was 26 Linda, cents. Do you remember Linda Waite and you and I? Yeah. We <laughs> snuck some from my mother and then we'd go walking down the road. And we hit item in the mailbox. mailbox. And one time we were there, and here comes the mail. And we we ran. <laughs> remember behind the bushes? That we yeah. Had? Get the cigarettes out before the mailman comes. <laughs> and and Uncle Andy knew, and he would oh. milk it for all it's worth. And he we'd be driving to town, and my mother would be sitting with him up front, and he'd take a cigarette out, and then he'd go like hand us the pack. And Daddy and I are going. <laughs> <laughs> Or one, or one night, one night, uh, uh, he he stayed at the farmhouse yeah. once in a while, and we were sleeping in one bedroom, and he was in the other, and we said, we were up. Windows were next to each other yeah, in front of the... Yeah, this way, and we say, oh, no, here's a car coming, because we're blowing we're the smoke out the out the screen, you know, and my uncle comes up, and we pretend like we're sleeping, we hear knock, 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 and yes... And we look, his a hand comes in with a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> he says, just in case you're out, he said. <laughs> oh. He was a good uncle. Oh. He never told That's him. why we take care of him. He took care of us. <laughs> he could probably tell lots of stories. <laughs> never told my mother that we're aware no, of. <laughs> She was pretty smart. I wonder how. Well, many. you know what? People yeah. who smoke can't smell it on you if you're smoking. I know. Oh, that's you know, true. You know, we we always remember we were standing on the bed with the blankets, <sighs> trying to get the smoke out the window. You know, because we're upstairs. Oh man! And here I thought you were an angel. <laughs> no. Hey, one time my mother almost shot her. We yeah. Think, we were she supposed did. to be home at a certain time. And, and we, we weren't. Were, and she said, she "You're not the home. Door. The door is locked." And so it was locked. It was and locked. so we, she, we, we went around the back by the window where the laundry area is over there because that was always open, that window. 
Bobby, were, we kind of held her up because the, the boys were there. Yeah, we they were lifting up. me up so I could crawl into the window. And she's opening the window, and there's my mother with a gun. <laughs> Bobby, and we left her hanging. Hang <laughs> and everybody else ran. <laughs> Oh, you terrible. girls, we're she going home so immediately. Mad. Oh my God, we were going to go back to Chicago like right now. <laughs> oh man, oh man. I don't think we went out for a while. I don't think so either. I can't remember. But and, and the one time we tried drinking, we had never drunk anything except maybe leftover beer for my parents. Yeah. Well, we they give us wine for the holidays. holidays yeah. Yeah. Well, one of the boys got black beer drinking, and of all things. <laughs> We were so sick. The next day, we had to drive back to Chicago, and we were, you know, we were sick as dogs. We said, "Oh, we're sick." You and know? my mother says, "That is so odd to get the flu at this time." Of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, 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 and Grandpa, Grandpa Wakarski says, says, "I have just the ticket and for an upset said, stomach." And I said, "Give them some black, black beer." <laughs> <laughs> and we're like. We got through Chippewa, you know, where you kind of turned by the high school and there was an A&W stand. We were so thirsty. Please, please, can we stop for root beer? And, you know, we probably didn't drink that much no. either. Well, it you didn't know, take but when much, you did, but... You know, when you're, <laughs> when you're not used to yeah. it. Oh, my. I don't think I ever tasted it after. after no, uh-uh, no. It was like, oh, my. Well, usually if you get sick on one thing, you don't like, like to try, to try it again. again. <laughs> yep, that's for no sure. No matter what it is. <laughs> oh, I remember driving the car that night. I must have been I don't remember. 14. No, I must have been 16, I bet. And and I was driving because the, they didn't want to drive. And I, I didn't have a license. <laughs> I mean, I had driven with Uncle Andy, but that was it, you know. And I was like... Oh, I think the Lord had his hand on us that we're still alive. But that was before all the traffic, traffic. and, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, we had some stories. Yeah. Kind of forgot about that. We had fun. <laughs> oh, yes. But that was the worst of it. That, yeah. <laughs> you know, now, that, if that's all you got to worry about, be glad, I'll tell you. Yes. Over here, over we here, didn't have all the be... drugs and stuff. We right, exactly. In our Catholic it's... high school, you were caught with a cigarette within two blocks, blocks of the of school. school. Or I'm, yeah. You were excommunicated yeah, for yeah, a while. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? I remember taking a tour of the school to before it closed, and uh, we were coming by an entrance, and I said, "This is where I got detention because I." You know, because she didn't wear boots. And so, just before I got into school, I put the boots on, and she says, I caught you. You got detention. And I said, gee, I remember I had to stay after school because I didn't wear my boots into school. You know, I ruined the floor or whatever. And the, uh, the nun said, you know, if that's all we had to worry about now, we'd be glad because now there's so much drugs and everything else. And the school doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. They know oh, that one gone. high school in yeah. St. Paul now. It's like they have a fight with the teacher every week. Yeah. I yeah. can't even imagine. Can you imagine that. wanting to be a teacher? Oh. oh. And I, it's not boys, it's girls. Oh, there can be girls just are as bad. Girls are boys. You know, look the way they drive. And you know, it used to be it just it would be a teenage boy, you know, really going fast and being reckless. Now the girls are, oh, their just language is yes. just as bad. It's just like. Do you want, do you want them? What? He wants another egg? No, Asher, I think you had enough. Kind of candy egg? Yeah, he's well, they can take, I mean, they can, mean, How about they take him home? Yeah. I thought you were yeah. a regular No. Egg. He wants candy yeah. inside of him. He'll be on the sugar <laughs> high for sure. Yeah. 11 o'clock. Hi. Hi. Sugar high, then we send him home. That, well, that's what Faith does. Debbie's already in bed. I'm not tired. She comes out about 10, 10 30. I'm not tired. <laughs> This is well, I am. I am. Good I am. Good <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, talking about her trying to get someplace or uh, get something and she'll move furniture or whatever. I mean, even if you try to help her when you want to, she'll say, I do it myself. And she's an I do it myself lady. So it's sometimes it's. Did Bobby tell you what she did with getting a haircut? <laughs> well, that haircut that she had? Yeah. 
She did it herself. She did. Well, they were. We were talking. She needed a haircut because her bangs were down, and we had said that. And Debbie says, "I have to make an appointment." All of a sudden, I get this this picture, and she says, "Here it is." And here, on the, on the sink in the bathroom was a bowl, scissors, and a comb, and the hair was all piled up in there. She cleaned it up after herself. I do it myself. I mean, it's up to here. You can see the big space she's got there yet. That's so gonna... awful. Hannah did that. Well, she cut her right. ponytail off. She or started one of her pigtails. Last she year. had a little or pony in there. She's gonna be a beautician. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what we said. That's what we thought. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, if it's not fast enough. If it's not fast, <laughs> she'll do it herself. If you, know, you yeah. talk about it, Hannah, do Hannah it. Hannah got it down to the skin when she was little. Yeah. And Christian, I saw this white spot on his head, and I wanted to because he's got dark hair. And I look in the garbage, and there's all these little dark hairs in there. <laughs> oh, well. Kind of interesting to cut hair. Well, she cut it pretty, pretty short. And there's one thing you can't... Well, you know what? I had a girlfriend, Monique, and she had the longest, beautiful pigtails. Yeah. Her mother was French, and uh, we were always getting into trouble together. We were in, we locked ourselves in the garage and decided we were going to cut each other's hair. Luckily, <laughs> luckily she was first, and we were found mean? out and discovered before we got to me. But if you look at her kindergarten picture, she's got these beautiful long pigtails. And then you look at the first grade picture, and she's got this pixie hair. <laughs> it's the only thing they could do to sell this. She 